Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Nugget of the Day, a presentation of regionalfortrainees.com. This week in Nugget 3, we focus on the effect of variance of the level of separation of sciatic nerve into its two components on its blockade in the popliteal fossa. To put into perspective, sciatic nerve arises from the sacral plexus, exits the pelvis through the sciatic foramen um, and passes under or through the piriformis muscle to enter the thigh. Here it lies under the bicep femoris, emerging from underneath it at the level of mid-thigh. In the popliteal fossa, it lies between the bicep femoris on its lateral side and semimembranous and semitendinosus muscle on its medial side. Because the nerve divides into its two components, that is the tibial nerve medially and common peroneal nerve laterally at a variable distance of 50 to 120 millimeters above the popliteal crease, stimulating the nerve in the popliteal fossa as taught in the classical teaching is unlikely to result in finding and blocking both the components successfully in all the cases. Hence, some authors have proposed doing the block about 10 centimeters above the popliteal crease, but limiting factor to this approach is the depth at which the nerve lies, however going too low and the nerve might have already divided. So if you take my advice, use the ultrasound machine. Until next time, adios amigos.